Why did Roger Ailes tell you to lay off certain presidential candidates, especially Herman Cain, regarding sexual harassment? Funny how that worked <laughs> now. At the time, when Herman Cain was accused of sexual harassment, um, I thought that was a valid story to cover when women came forward. I thought that was something voters should probably know about. Um, Roger felt, and this was, by the way, transmitted to me through intermediaries. So Roger sometimes didn't want his fingerprints on these things. So through intermediaries, the message came to me uh, not to touch it. I wasn't to touch that story. And uh, here were the reasons. Ancient history. Here was another reason. Uh, the New York Times didn't do an aggressive job with John Edwards and the affairs he was having, so we're not going to do it with Herman Cain. So that you will find captured in those pages because I was so frustrated. And I fought my, I made the case. I mean, look, I, I often made my case there, and I would go to various executives and say, I'm not comfortable with this. I don't like it when you tell me not to touch something. And, you know, I mean, I sort of, sometimes it felt like talking to the Riddler where they'd say, now, I know you're a journalist, and I would never tell you not to touch a story, ever. But I would just say, consider the audience. <laughs> consider what the audience wants to hear. But do you think in Roger Ailes' case, do you think it was because he didn't want anything about his past coming up, or he personally liked Herman Cain, and that was his pony? I think it was both. Mm -hmm. I mean, now in the light of day, in retrospect, I think it was both. I know he did like Herman Cain, and he did like that Herman Cain was an outsider, and he did like that Herman Cain was a quippy candidate who said things that were sort of not, um, you know, scripted. And he did think that he could shake up the field. So that was true. He did like him, and he didn't want one of his own journalists going after somebody he liked. But it's hard now to overlook the elephant in the room and to think that Roger must not have been quite comfortable with talking about sexual harassment issues. And so listen, you know, uh, uh, there's a character in the book named Victor Fluke. He is this outsider presidential candidate. And he's a TV star turned presidential candidate. And a lot of people think that he's Donald Trump. He has Trumpian aspects. Um, and I was already interviewing Donald Trump in 2012 pretty regularly. He was around. And as we all know, he is a character, a large and life character who does end up permeating some of your thoughts. Um, however, the scenes in there um, where the boss tells Amanda what to do uh, were based on some of my experiences with having to lay off Herman Cain. Mm. The tidal wave of the Me Too moment, I had a visceral reaction. I was sort of shaking while I was doing our newscast. Mm. We all were. I mean, it, all the crew guys, everybody. It, it, I, I can't underscore enough what a moment in, my, in broadcast journalism that was.